Stella's given me this strange poem to read. In a hot desert, round a campfire cooking dessert, along came the cold night, and with it such a big fright. Now, she's told me to make it as atmospheric as possible, but I have no stage set, no props. In fact, the only thing she's given me are these. I think I'm going to have to investigate this one a little further. So I've come to see Philip Cracksford, lighting director at the Theatre Museum in London, who says he might be able to help me. Using coloured light is a fantastic way of creating mood and atmosphere, and people associate their mood with colours. So if you're feeling a bit depressed or a bit down, you might say, I'm feeling a bit blue. Also, we could do something like, if I bring this light on down here, this orange, I could uh, shine it on you and mimic something that happens in the real world. In this case, something like a fire sitting next to a roaring log fire. Mm. Now that is very cosy. Do you think you can help me out with my poem, help me jazz up the reading a bit? Absolutely, we can add some real colour to that. And this is where the colour filters Stella gave me come into play. By using these filters, we can get any colour we want. If I was to use coloured light bulbs, I'd be stuck with just the one colour. Using these, I can get lots and lots of colours. OK, so how exactly do they work? OK, remember again, white light contains all the other colours of the spectrum. With this filter, it allows some of the colours to pass through, and it stops other colours. It's the colours it allows to pass are the colours you see. Phil, thank you for these. They're great. They make a brilliant impression on my poem. I wanted to ask you something, though. Can you actually only use the colours that you have gels for? What about if you wanted to use a colour and you didn't have a filter for it? Oh, well, yeah, we can mix the colours if we want to. Take a look at that mannequin over there. We can light it in a blue gel. We can light it in a red gel. Or if we mix the red and the blue, we get purple. In the same way, if we mix blue with green, we get another colour. If we mix all three together, we get white. Red, green and blue are the primary colours in white light. Right. So time to decide which colours to use for Stella's poem. I often think about the colour red. So maybe we could use this red filter to create that mood. What we could do. Or we could use something like an orangey yellowy red, something like this, to give the effect of the hot sun in the desert. Yep. OK, finally, and with it, such a big fright. OK, green slime, monsters, got to be the green gel, yeah? Yes, why not? Scary! In a hot desert, round a campfire cooking dessert, along came the cold night, and with it, such a big fright! Oh! Give that woman an Oscar!